And the 48-hour ultimatum for those defying the power of Kiev in the eastern city of Lugansk passed without the sight of government troops storming the barricades. Our correspondent Graham Phillips did, however, manage to scale the barriers and speak to some of the protesters in control of a security service building. And a cold night at the end of another eventful day in this city in the far east of Ukraine. Earlier, of course, we were in the SBU building behind me to see the first meeting of the People's Security Council. And what they called for, among other things, was the forming of a southeast army here in Ukraine. Now, they say that's necessary to repel attacks from the Kiev government. And, of course, that's something very pertinent here in Lugansk, with reports circulating that this building, in its now sixth day of being occupied by pro-Russia activists, could be stormed at any time. Now, they stated that they were ready and that they were able to repel any such attacks. However, they also called for Ukraine to hear their desire, their request, their demand for a referendum and for that to be something which happens in the coming weeks. Our demands remain the same. We insist on federalization, meaning a federal structure inside Ukrainian borders. Now, speaking to the people here, there's real unhappiness under this current Kiev government, which they say is punishing them and is entirely opposed to their wishes to live a, here in Lugansk, to live a stable life. It's not like we've gathered to decide what to do. In fact, we want the authorities to hear people out and for the laws to finally begin working as they are written. But what we have in here is the parliament a kilometre down the road. And these several thousand people said that no deputies, no one from the parliament has been to speak to them, to engage with them, to hear what they want. Uh, demonstrators in the eastern city of Donetsk have tried to take over the prosecutor's office but are uh, left after negotiations with local police. On Friday, Ukraine's prime minister had the chance to meet with protesters who were occupying the local government building there, though uh, he decided not to. Instead, he met with only Kiev appointed regional heads and demonstrators chose not to leave the offices uh, they have taken over. While there, though, Arseniy Yatsenyuk did insist he was ready for compromise. He even said that a local referendum should be allowed. 